I've got an exciting adventure for Claire today. We're gonna go scuba diving looking for a ring. Apparently, my friend lost it last year while he was jumping in the lake outside of town. So we're gonna head to V Lake and then Portage to Walsh Lake and go looking for this thing. I'm super stoked and I think this is gonna be a great find. So what's the uh, Jeremy adventure today? Gonna be back at midnight? <laughs> Oh my God. So today's Jeremy adventure. Did you put your seatbelt on? Yeah. Today we're going to Walsh Lake. Mm -hmm. So we're going to V Lake, then rolling into Walsh. We're meeting a friend of mine named Gord. Gord. You have friends? It's rare, and I know it's unbelievable, but yes, Sometimes I have one oh, or two, okay. one okay. or two friends. All right, so Gord. Right. So Gord was jumping off the cliffs at Walsh Lake. And uh, he apparently had a ring, either his wedding ring or his engagement ring, that as he was jumping into the lake, fell off and went to the bottom. So we're gonna go meet Gord. He's gonna show us the point where he was jumping in. We're gonna take a couple of underwater metal detectors, sweep around and see if we can't locate the missing ring. So he had an engagement ring. Yeah. Man with an engagement ring. Jeez. He's, yeah, he's in touch with uh, his feelings. He he must have uh, taken her on some really well planned dates to, well, to get for him to get an engagement ring. Could have been. Yeah, interesting. So, I'd love to know what that feels like. Well planned dates. Yeah. It's been a while, you know. All of my dates are well planned. Well, What? There's water pouring in the boat! Shit! The boat is sinking! Yes! Find it! Yeah, both of them are up there. Hurry up! Ah. Gord Olsen says to... Sounds good. So he knows we're here. He's on the way. Okay. Let's pack. First priority, bug spray. Yeah. Pack truck. Or a boat. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here! I uh, love that. <laughs> Have you ever used one of these underwater before? Uh, is this another Jeremy contraption? No. This is an actual device. Oh. No, this is, uh, could be used for scooping poop, but it's used for scooping sediment. So if you get a hit on the metal detector and there's a lot of dirt, like so then you just shake that out. Because the ring won't fall yeah. like that. Now, do you know what this is? Um. Um, it is a metal detector. Oh, okay. So this one is a pointer. So as opposed to these ones, which will do a large area, yeah. this is a very specific point here metal detector. So we'll be using those. All right. Sounds good. Uh, just... Yeah, I'm really, I'm really hoping this is a like a small area, and that there's not a lot of sediment to deal with. So some of these lakes are just like bedrock on the bottom. Yeah. If the ring is sitting on some bedrock, it should be the easiest find yeah, ever. Yeah, but it's like two years in there. I think it might be longer. <laughs> Before I forget anything else is the plug-in. Yes, Jeremy, is the plug-in. Actually, is the plug-in. Good, man. How you doing? Good to see you. Jeez, what's this? <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> oh yeah, you lost an engagement ring. So what does a man do? I was. Uh, what does a man do to earn an engagement ring? Like you must have been pretty top notch. You know, you should see her rock. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> she was Trust well me. taken care of. Yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. I think I got the pittens, but. You got the pittens. <laughs> But I'm happy with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully we can find it. Yeah, right? well, I jumped in, eh? Yeah. And you know how you're kind of, everything's hot, cold, yeah. and I 
I just felt to do this. Oh, you felt it come up. And do you know exactly where you were? It was eight years ago. Oh, eight years, <laughs> Jeremy. Something like that. Well, I, I said five. Curly said no. Gordy says she says that's like eight. Quote, unquote. And this I is going to be the easiest search. Really small they, area. It is. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Get going. Plug in. Uh, yeah, it's funny you mentioned that. Fred and Claire make fun of me because they say I can't back up a boat. They're not wrong. I do have trouble, but sometimes I just line things up perfect and the boat slides right into the water. The worst part is when the boat disappears behind the truck and you can't see the freaking road. And there it is again. Okay, I don't see the boat. Shit, where's the freaking boat? And, oh, I think I did it. Ha <laughs> suckers. Oh, she's gonna grab the rope. Hey, Claire, can you come grab the, hey, look how great that was. You're no, you're going to be by this dog. Like that was the best backing up ever. talking about this is like all filled with water shit you weren't kidding no well. yeah there's a hole down there that follows up huh <laughs> this boat oh, he just never does it oh my god okay let's get in all right let's go. Come on. the boat's in the water yeah it's floating thank you claire's loving the fact that i'm here mopping out water from the back of the boat deserve it of a slow clap. The second slow clap and we haven't even made it to the dock side. Did it go? We've got a pretty old boat and a pretty old beat up motor. It doesn't have a lever to lift in place, so what we've been using is a bungee cord when we need to go through the shallows. Claire distracted me, and I lost the bungee cord. Just uh, think of this as some kind of uh, Italian Venice getaway. Like, if you hadn't yelled, I wouldn't have lost the bungee cord, the motor would be up. Look out! Ah! Okay. Good Lord woman. I can't do two things at once. Going back to my British head. Around the Thames in London. I don't understand why you feel a need to share this stuff with Fred. Ah, oh, Jeremy got the boat full of water. Ah, oh, Jeremy lost the bungee cord. Ah, oh, Jeremy couldn't start the motor. I have feelings, you know. Don't you know? <laughs> Nobody saw a thing! That doesn't stop me. Where's my cell phone? Yeah, watch your motor, because you're going to stir up the sediment. Yeah, don't motor. Well, where do you figure you're jumping off from? Right up here. I jumped off the lower part. I think, I think the ring went down. I think I jumped right from that. that. 
point there, right where you're standing there. Yep. And I think it went down into that muck there. So right down in here. Okay. It was that muck around here somewhere. Like it's right. I don't know. If it, Money then retire. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Learn sign language. What I'd like to do is with this metal detector, I can sweep a large area. Yeah. So I'll look for kind of hits or signals of a place that there might be something. And then I. Yeah, and then you come in with the fine one and try and localize it, and then we can reach down gently and see what the stuff is. Try not to fin kick. We'll frog kick through here. Oh, interesting. It's a great technique. Do you technique. know how to do that? No. Yeah, I know. I'll just follow your lead. <laughs> So we've got a pretty good system. We're just gonna follow the line back and forth, moving it to make sure we cover the entire area. The metal detector is pretty good. For objects like rings, it should be able to detect 18 inches, maybe two feet away from the coil. Unfortunately, the metal detector, there's been something wrong with mine and it's acting up and it's really not making the noises it's supposed to be making right now. This is not what we were hoping for. We were hoping for a nice bedrock bottom, but there's all kinds of mosses and grass down here that have been growing over the years. And that ring is gonna be buried under all this. This is a really great dive. The water is super warm. It's about 17 degrees here, which is tropical for where we live. disappointed that this thing wasn't working. Um, I appreciate the effort and there's no doubt about it. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. It's still there, Gord, it's just wet. Y yeah, it's just wet, that's right. You were a trooper for putting up with my adventure this long. I will make you supper tonight. Well, if everything went well, I have supper over at the cabin, but... Gord's invited us back for dinner. Since he's retired, he's been living out here with his wife. Frame Lake broils. These are to die for. It's got beef on the outside, pork, green pepper, onion. is going to be our non-diving date. Yeah. Be nice. Mm. I'm looking forward to that. It's beautiful there. Riding in my old Timbo, my wicked 